everyone welcome to ng classes youtube channel for a video lecture series in control systems in this video lecture we shall consider obtain the transfer function of the signal flow graphs shown below using the masson's gain formula and this is how the signal flow graph looks like so let me consider the solution for this so i need to find the transfer function using the masson's gain formula so just let me write the masson's gain formula so what is the expression for this masson's gain formula using that the transfer function is equal to tk into delta k this gets divided by delta so now what is k k is nothing but the number of forward paths so let me write that number of forward paths number of forward paths k equal to how many forward path are there so if i look closely starting from here 1 g1 g2 g3 g4 and traversing till the output so this is the only forward path i have got so hence i would say number of forward path is nothing but 1 and once that is done i can expand this uh, by placing k which is t1 delta 1 this gets divided by delta yes once i said there is only one forward path so now i would write what is that forward path t1 equal to it is 1 into i have g1 into g2 into g3 into g4 and again there is 1 so this is the only forward path i have got so once this is done the next task is to find individual feedback loops and their gains so just let me consider that individual individual feedback individual feedback loops and their gains individual feedback loops and their gain so how many individual feedback loops are there so first loop let me call it as l1 which is that so if i look over here it is nothing but this one g1 into minus h1 is going to be my first individual feedback loop so let me write it as minus g1 into h1 as the first feedback loop and that is the gain l2 is equal to which is the second feedback loop <coughs> Uh, if i look here it is g3 into minus h4 so let me consider writing that l2 is equal to minus g3 into h4 again moving further l3 which is l3 so i can call this as l3 which is g4 into minus h3 so it turns out to be minus g4 into h3 is going to be third individual feedback loop similarly moving further there is something called l4 and that means there is another feedback loop which is that so if i look over here it is nothing but starting with the g2 g3 g4 and minus h2 so this is another feedback loop so this i called it as l4 which is minus g2 g3 g4 and h2 and is that done there is one more self loop which is that this is the one which is called self loop this i call called as g5 l5 is equal to g5 that means there are five individual loops once this is done now i need to consider uh, non touching uh, two non touching loops so which are those i need to write so let me write a two non touching loops two non touching loops if there are any i need to look for those things and what are those i need to write them so if i look first one what is this l1 what is this this one is l2 so are they touching no they are non touching loop hence i can say l1 and l2 is the first two non touching loop one of the two non touching loops l1 and l2 similarly moving further uh, is there any just let me check yes there seems few more l1 
and L3. These are also two non-touching loops, L1 and L3. So let me write L1 and L3. Similarly, moving further, there could is there anyone? Yes, there seems to be another one, which is L1 and this L5. These two are also non-touching. So therefore, I can write the next one as L L1 and L5. L1 and L5 is another non-touching loop. After this, is that done? Just let me check uh, for one more time. There seems to be one more, which is that this one L2 and L5. So these are also non-touching. So hence I get one more uh, set over here, which is L2 and L5. So these are the non-touching, two non-touching loops. Similarly, are there any three non-touching loops? Just let me check those things. Three non-touching loops. Are there any three non-touching loops? So just let me check. I need to look for three loops which are non-touching. If I look this loop that is L1 and there is L2 and there is L5. So these three are non-touching. Correct? So I got the answer as yes there is one three non-touching loops which are L1, L2 and L5. Correct? So once this is done and the next task is I need to find uh, delta 1. Delta 1 is equal to to find delta 1 check T1 which is G1, G2, G3, G4 and for this forward path which loop is non-touching. So if I look for this forward path all the loops are touching hence delta 1 uh, delta 1 turns out to be 1. So once this is done I need to find a delta. So what is this delta? Delta is equal to 1 minus combination of 1 minus individual feedback loops. So how many individual feedback loops are there? I need to group them here. L1 plus L2 plus L3 plus L4 plus L5. So there are 5 individual feedback loops. Then plus combination of two non-touching loops. It is L1 into L2 plus L1 into L3 plus L1 into L5 plus L2 into L5. So this, these are two non-touching loops minus I have to write the combination of three non-touching loops. Here also I have got it as L1, L2, and lastly L5. So this is nothing but a delta. So once this is done, I can write now the expression for the transfer function. So just let me write therefore transfer function is equal to it is T1 into delta 1. T1 is the first forward part, delta 1 is 1 and I get T1 as G1, G2, G3, G4. So here I would write G1, G2, G3, G4 in the numerator and I have got a really big term in the denominator. So let me consider writing the denominator. So just let me draw a proper straight line over here. Yes. Just let me expand this till this point. So now I would write Delta. Delta is nothing but 1 minus L1, L2, L3, L4, L5. I need to substitute those values. So minus and minus it becomes plus. So I would get 1 plus G1 into H1. G1 into H1 plus what is L2? L2 is G3 into H4. So let me consider that G3 into H4 plus what is L3? L3 is G4 into H3 g4 into h3 
correct l1 l2 l3 is done now l4 what is l4 l4 is nothing but g2 g3 g4 g2 g3 g4 and then into h2 minus l5 l5 is nothing but g5 so this is with respect to individual feedback loops then combination of two non touching loops correct l1 into l2 so l1 into l2 what i'm going to get g1 g3 h1 h4 so i'm going to get g1 g3 h1 h4 h1 h4 similarly plus l1 into l3 l1 into l3 is nothing but g1 g4 g1 g4 h1 into h3 h1 into h3 then i have got l1 into l5 so l5 is g5 l1 is minus g1 h1 so here i would get the negative sign minus g1 g5 h1 so this is nothing but l1 and l5 then also i have got uh, uh l2 and l5 what is l2 and l5 so l2 is minus g3 h4 l5 is minus g5 so hence i would get minus g3 g5 and h4 g3 g minus g3 g5 h4 this is nothing but l1 l2 and l5 and then there is minus combination of three non touching loops l1 l2 l5 what is l1 l1 is minus g1 h1 l2 is minus g3 g4 which becomes uh, plus and l5 is g5 so therefore i would get minus i would get g1 g3 g1 g3 g5 into h1 into h4 so ultimately this is the final transfer function which i have found using masson's gain formula so this is one of the very important numericals uh, using signal flow graph the task is to find the transfer function using masson's gain formula so this numerical i have explained everything step by step i hope you people have understood if there are still any doubts please let me know them on to the comment section and i am happy to answer those uh, doubts thank you so much for watching